Renowned clergyman Bishop Matthew Cooker wants Southern state governors to dwell more on creating triangular economic prosperity than sending cows away. Bishop Cooker was speaking in reaction to the anti-open grazing law in place in some southern states. Our correspondent, Lorita Chiogo, takes a look at the effect of the law on food security and stability. 60,000 people have been killed in violence involving farmers and herders from 2001 to 2018. That's according to a survey carried out by a professor of the Institute of Peace and Conflict Resolution and his associates. Another 300,000 have been displaced in Nigeria's Benue Valley, consisting of Kaduna, Nasarawa, Benue, Adamawa, Plateau, and Taraba states, according to the survey. In July, Nigeria's southern state governors met with a simple resolve. A legislation against open grazing must be put in place. Well, first of all, I, I, I actually love consensus when they happen peacefully. Um, we, can, we can agree uh, to disagree, but in this case we agree on something that is of national interest. In Nigeria, implementation of law comes along with greed or opportunity for greed. Make the law clear. If the law is, if we catch you, and then please also make it by paying attention to human vessel, the human beings. You don't take people and begin to beat them. No. If we arrest you with this, we're going to seize your cow. We're going to detain you until we know the owners of this. We're going to have a dialogue, and this is the fine that comes along with it. One man who seems to have a contrary opinion is the fearless Bishop Matthew Kuka, even as a few southern states are yet to pass the law stopping open grazing. But if we focus too much on keeping Fulanese away, keeping cows away, um, we're not going to solve the problem because nobody's putting bread on the tables of people. And I'm saying, I mean, what is the use? It, it will not change my life if no Fulani man or if no cow turned up in my village and I'm still not able to feed myself. So I'm saying, People have land, they don't have cows. You have cows, you don't have land. I have money. You, you have money, you don't have a cow, you don't have land. We can have a triangle of economic prosperity for all of us. You bring your money, you take my land, you take my cattle. All of us are doing business. So, but if we focus more on just the, 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 the adversarial dimensions of the argument, people's blood will just be rising for nothing. And increasingly, nobody is getting richer. We just, the cycles of killings will just continue. Aside the security threat allegation against herders, the public nuisance of cows on the roads is worrisome and totally against international standard of such a trade. I can tell you more than nine economic reasons for ranching. Now, even with ranching, you have more profit, your revenue, and then you, even the speed of ton, uh, uh, turnover is higher. But some of the guys that run these businesses or that run on foods, running animals, they, did not, they don't know this. They just know that the Southern one has to do this, we're going to do it by all means. The second thing is that all of these people that graze, they have a route where they go. We can subliminarily put some messages that they will see on the way. We can subliminarily put education of ranching in education as for, from nursery school, schools. While cattle breeders plan a fight in court with states already implementing the anti-open grazing law, the governors are also set to defend their actions. Loretta Chiogo, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.